All right, guys. So we've got this sort of archetype these days. Uh, these NPC archetypes. You guys maybe heard about them. We have the Zoomer, the Boomer, the uh, the Doomer. And you guys can look these up. And the picture I think I'm going to use in the thumbnail is going to be a picture of the mid twenties Doomer, Doomer male. And these are guys that have been born around, let's say, 1989 to about 19, 1994-ish. So you're about mid-20s and you're almost 30, right? So this mid-20s uh, character, which is your male today, uh, that is mostly, you look around, you see him posting on Facebook, you see him on YouTube. Just guys, maybe you're friends with, maybe you can relate to a lot of this, uh, but they have like this depression. A lot of these men, or at that age, it's like, you know, we're men now. And a lot of us are getting this uncertainty in our life, this depression. We're realizing some stuff is making us unhappy. And so the men of the world are depressed. And there's no way to live, man. It's no way to live. And I believe for a lot of us, I'm going to read the characteristics of these males. But uh, a lot of us have peered into the void. We've tried to acquire all this knowledge and by doing so it's kind of led us to this nihilistic view of life and we're unhappy and so we've become our own gods in a sense we've become our own judge and we've decided to kind of say f all of this what's the meaning and uh it's a Depressing reality. So let's look at some of the characteristics of the Doomer. Acutely aware that playing video games wastes time. Watches YouTube instead. Kind of giving up on girls. He is a deep thinker. Obsessive self-improvement attempts. To avoid insanity. But cannot stick to anything long term. Once did no fap for three days. But failed. Celebrates conservative values. Too undisciplined to act them out. <laughs> Thinks crypto will fix all his problems. <laughs> Severely disgusted by normies. <laughs> hates hypocrites, therefore hates himself. <laughs> so that's a few of the characteristics of this this uh, doomer, and you guys gotta see the picture for this guy. It's this this like NPC meme, and he's got a cigarette in his mouth, dude. Look, that's that's a lot of men these days, and you can say what. And here's the thing. Let me just talk about knowledge real quick. What some of the stuff that causes us to become these recluses, introverts, lack of hope. So one of the things a lot of guys get black pilled on, red pilled on is women, women nature. We think that all of them are whores and we start to resent guys. You got to let that go. You got to let the anger go. All right. If you're not doing the meditation, you got to do the meditation. Let that shit go. Another thing, black pilled on your looks. You think you're ugly. Look at my mewing video, dude. It's got like 200k views right now. All of these channels popping up about our looks. And guys, you're focusing on your looks way too much. If, if you don't got the best features, you don't got the best jawline, you don't got the greatest looks, whatever. It's like, who cares, man? You're, you're going to you do the best you can. Get lean. Work out. Take care of your body. You know, do what you can, but 
you can make yourself so you're black pill on your looks you think that you'll never get top tier girls right that sucks man that sucks you think all women are gonna cheat on you and they're all whores and you know you're red pilled and whatnot so you just kind of have this negative thing playing in the background it sucks why not get depressed okay you now you get you get black pilled on wages and work and the work environment you think you're a wage cuck now if you work and you get an hourly wage or you go to work for salary it's like i can't see myself doing that look man work ain't too bad you know better than a lot of people have you're not just gonna rot away in office it's the it really is the mindset it's how how you go in there you don't gotta stay at the same place i don't know man it's just like there's a lot of guys that are stuck in their heads and so you got to be you got to be getting closer to God. And when I say God, I'm using God in a broad range. You got to get closer to stop trying to be your own God. Stop trying to be in your head all the time. Because now you're just going to get depressed, all right? You got to get to that stoic nature that this country, the US was built on. These men that came over from a different continent and they came to the this great land and they you know forged America you got to get back to the place wherever you are if you live in Europe you know you live in India I don't care where you live uh, well look man you can't just be a guy that's going to judge every little thing and think that he's got life figured out and then never take any risk What's that gonna, it's gonna leave you in one of these states. You're gonna be alone, very lonely. You're not gonna have any friends. You're not gonna experience uh, love, you know, or, or that you're not gonna be able to have a family. Let's just say family. And I don't know about you, but I want a family. So you're not gonna be able to have something fulfilling in your life because maybe you were too lazy and you got it. You had it made up in your mind that you're not going to work. You drunk the Kool-Aid. Man, work is a good thing. It can challenge you. It can invigorate you. Yeah, it's hell sometimes. Suffer, dude. Suffer and fucking go through it. Or just give up and die. Simple as that. A lot of you guys in school think it's not worth it. All these excuses all in your head. Well, then, you know what? Either suffer through it or just die. Simple as that. No use complaining, no use, everyone's got an opinion these days. So, the ones that will make it out are the ones that are brave enough to suffer through, to uh, be able to, to work, not just a, a physical job, but to be able to work through whatever pain they gotta go through, not make up excuses, that can focus on, you know, making their lives better it's not supposed to be all this chaos so some people put on all this big weight on themselves to be some great accomplisher of things when life man just you know get enough money to eat healthy get enough uh get in a place where you're, you can leave at peace when you can maybe have a family take care you can be able to take care of yourself you can be able to be able to enjoy the, the natural things in life, you know? You don't need all this money, all this wealth. You don't need tons of girls hitting you up. You don't need to have sex all the time. You don't need all this stuff. You don't need the nicest car, the nicest clothes. Man, you don't need half that shit the world's telling you that you need. And so you're getting depressed and you're, you're just, you constantly become this judge, this nihilistic existential crisis state of man you're not a leader you can't really make decisions you really you say you don't you're kind of numb but you're really just judging everything you gotta stop judging and i've noticed more than anything else that has helped me in my life is when i've returned to god i'm not saying some magical guy in the sky i'm saying when i return to god when i return to that stoic nature 
when I return to giving up all my power, which, which is like, I'm going to call all the shots. I'm going to, I'm the ruler. I'm the judge or no, stop being the judge. Let the universe do its thing. Be at peace, man. Life is not supposed to be this chaotic and difficult. You got to return to God. All right. And you know, frankly, I was born in America and I was raised in a Christian household and uh, I know a lot of the Bible and man, the Bible is, uh, holds a lot of truth. There's a lot of these stories that are very truthful. And when you focus on God, man, whatever, whatever book you want to pick up, but there's the Quran. I'm sure the Buddhists have one. I'm sure the Hindus have one. I myself, I'm going to read the Bible. And there's a lot of truth there. And when you come back to this, this state of trusting the universe, trust in the source, there's these connections that you make where you actually develop a relationship with that unknowable force that is life. You know, you're just in this life, man. You got one life. You don't have all this control that you think you do. You can't change yourself really. I mean, you can fight as much as you want, put down the cigarettes, put down the porn, put down the drugs, put down the time wasting the progress procrastination. But uh, really you realize, man, I, there's not much I can do. And so when you develop this relationship with God, it's a beautiful thing. It really feels like a relationship of trust. You can let go. You can tr you can focus on at the day by day, doing what you need to do. Uh, you know, being being whole again. You kind of all that other nonsense fades away. You can just be whole. You can enjoy life, and you can stop being bitter, and you can forgive. You can let go of all this anger and this resentment, and you can start to live. You can let go of the past because the past is a bunch of nonsense. That's another thing in here. Just another illusion. Um, you can let go of the hate. And so I recommend, you know, if you are, if you're searching, man, like seek and you shall find. And it'll, you know, it'll seek. Just keep seeking, bro. <laughs> just keep seeking. Don't get bitter. Stop being the judge. Stop judging other people. And, and go back to the meditation. The meditation, the prayer is silent. You're just observing your thoughts. You're dissociating with them. You're not your thoughts. And you'll realize as you start seeking this, this presence, which is God, you start seeking God and all will be added unto you. Everything will be fine. The chaos of your life will no longer be chaos. It'll just be life. You'll stop being a judge of every little thing. You'll stop thinking that you got to dish out judgment for every little absurdity that happens, for everything that doesn't seem fair. Let life happen. Go back to the stoic nature. All right? You're a man, not some complainer, not a... All right? You just go back to your stoic nature. Get that relationship with God. You got to do it or you're going to suffer immensely. You're going to get older. You're going to enter your 30s. Life is going to stop making sense. You're going to be miserable at your job. Get closer to God. All right? He is the, the saving grace, man. The saving grace. And and stop judging what I'm saying, even if, if you're having that struggle of uh, looking at it as like God is this fictional character from a book, a guy in the sky. I could just believe in the flying spaghetti monster. No, man. Look a little bit deeper. Think a little bit deeper than that. All right? There's this void in your life for a reason. And you've been trying to fill it up with all this other stuff when really you need to just connect back to this stoic presence, to this God that is everything. That's the universe, all right? You need to have that relationship of trust, complete faith, complete giving up of uh, all this control that you think you have and accepting what is, all right? So do it or just die. Do it or die. Keep complaining and die. Simple as that. All right? So that's it, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.